pull the foreskin back and I look over at the mum and she is not happy with me. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky. Look at that! Yeah! Season 2, Episode 1. Fingers in your bum. This Where's is your mum? This is the first episode. Forget oh. about season one. I said to Matt. I said, forget about it. It's done. We got a green screen now, everyone. Look, we got. We got. We, look at the microphone. Is it swivels? Swivels. There's like lights here. You can't see it, but there's three lights here, and we got a green screen. And we didn't really put much into other things. We uh, still but, got the fully. Actual. Yeah. We look. We bought some shit, but we also. <sighs> This is it. This we is didn't put much effort in, but like there was probably a day where we went and got these and the green screen. It's been it's been a very long time since uh, the last uh, podcast. This is it was basically like we've never done one before. This is our first ever podcast. Yeah, season one was a warm, so we up. have to be all nervous and stuff because it's our first oh, ever shit. one. So yeah, hey, I would do a beer skull. Cause it's yeah, season. gone because yeah, because fuck yeah, we oh, get it down. He's a fucking uh, true blue man. Get it down, uh, piss pot. It's a true blue man. Uh -huh. Come on, man, you can do it, man. Don't be a fucking pussy, man. Oh damn it, he only got like a third of the way down. <laughs> oh, and now he's sort of throwing up in his hand a bit. Okay, that's pretty. That's not, we won't do that again. <laughs> I feel a bit sick. Disgusting way to start. Uh, so we we look. We've had a couple of months off, and we've got a lot to tell you guys. There's a lot of shit that's happened. Uh, Michael, I don't remember anything. Yeah. So we've been doing a lot of the things that you would expect that we're doing, and um, also, <laughs> I'm gonna. Put, uh, but, uh, oof, oh, makes me gag. Makes me gag hearing yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so during the holidays, Michael went to Bali. Yeah, I just went for a little... I wanted to get away and have a little villa. I took my girlfriend away. We had a little romantic time. Yeah, and a bath. Yeah, we went and... What did we do? Fucking all the activities, whitewater rafting, ATV, scootering. You had a bath. Yeah, there was heaps of... A lot of alcohol. You can't do any drugs there, unfortunately. Um, even though we did. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, it was a good time. What about you? Look, uh, it's been it's been a while. So w what we did, right? We backed up, we filmed lots of videos, and then just released them at the end of December and January. And now we're back. Now we're bloody filming. Now shit's getting real. We got some crazy shit going on. But during our time off, I went to Sydney with my girlfriend for the Voice. Mm. So I'm not a, I I can't <coughs> explain the voice for our like international viewers I guess. So the voice is like a reality TV show where people go on. It's like you know you know and uh, Australia's Got Talent or America's Got Talent. It's just or X Factor or any of those singing shows. It's one of them, right? And my girlfriend is a very, very good singer. She applied, got through, and then we had to go to Sydney for the blind auditions where there's judges and they don't face you they're like the you know famous established musicians they face away from you boy george kelly Rowland from Sebastian. destiny's child and Del delta delta, delta goodrum. goodrum from neighbors so, so they're all f facing away and then you come out well, monique came out and sang on stage and uh and you know if they like you they turn around but but <laughs> here we go <laughs> the voice the voice can get The fucked. voice is shit. <laughs> the voice shouldn't be a TV show. They told, first of all, they don't let you choose the song that you want to sing. They say, here, sing this song because it like aligns with a story that you've told us. Then they're like, oh, sing it much faster. So they speed it up. Even though Monique said to them, oh, this sounds really rushed and shit. They still completely ignored her and said, no, no, you're singing it like this. You're singing it this fast and you're singing a fucking Taylor Swift song. Oh, that bitch can not die. She can that you need to calm singing. down song. Disgusting. A fucking yeah. disgusting song. So we get there. She sings her song. No one turns around. <clears throat> then the, like all of that is okay. But then the comments. So the comments were, oh. It seemed rushed. It seemed rushed. That's why I didn't turn around. It seemed like you were, you know, 
Like what the like making it out making it out like Monique chose the fucking song. They chose the song and then criticized her for singing it like that. What's wrong with the voice? Oh dude, it's not on. It's... Watch watch the first episode of The Voice this year. I think it's coming out in like, you know, May or <laughs> April or something. Watch it because me and Michael and my girlfriend will be on it and your girlfriend too in in Monique's oh, little yeah. intro thing. Sure. But do not watch it after that Because fuck me That is such horse shit Yeah yeah Just watch it for that episode And then send some fucking hateful emails Not hateful Just disliked emails Throw human shit at the voice Someone yeah. throw human shit at the voice Hashtag That's a new That's Yeah fuck Judge Judy Now it's the voice That's our public enemy number one The voice can get Fucked Fuck what else happened? We went a boys trip a couple weeks ago. Oh, I lost. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, like seriously, the week come down after that was like I was crying and I didn't know why. Tears would just come out. I didn't I didn't want to wake up. I had no reason to live. And yeah. And then we went on the boys trip and um, it was like, it was pretty good. It was a lot. We did, did a lot of drugs. We bought, um, what was it? 14 bags, a so half an ounce of cocaine. There were 80 MDMA caps that we bought. An entire jar of weed oil that we had. Uh, what else was there? There was just case after weed. case, red wine, lots and lots of alcohol. It was just unlimited, unlimited of what you wanted. No one OD'd. We kept it safe. It wasn't safe. It was very reckless, but no one died. And but, yeah, we paid the price a week, like the days after that, for about five days. I've. I have contemplate. No, I won't talk about that. We put a video out from our boys' trip, but like it was shit because we were too fucked to really film all Anything. the funny shit. But yeah, so if if you want to have a, a, a ten, maybe a five percent insight into what went on, watch our um boys' trip video. It's already out. It's out. It's been out for a while. So yeah, <laughs> go and watch it. Maybe. All right. Let's go to on this day. On this day in 1950, starch. Oh, wood mixed with fucking tobacco. On this day in 1875, six women, they squished their boobs into one. Into one man's mouth. Whoa. That happened in 1875. Man, they and would... the report saying that yeah, that man died, suffocated. Whoa, so what that, a that's that a tragedy happened, you know, a hundred and forty-five years ago. It's crazy to think on this day that happened a hundred and forty-five years ago. It's insane to think like that. And now here we are. Yeah, on this day in two thousand and sixty-five, this dude like fully folded his arms, like four times, and like snapped all of his bones and shit. Fuck, like. Matt, come on, so man. This is lazy. Fold. This is fucking... Matt's, do Matt's gone, done and then some... he's gone over his shoulder and then somehow he's got another two folds after that. That's fucking impressive. Oh, it's lazy. No, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's sort of cool. I like Matt, that that's lazy. One. That's better than starch. Matt from Wholesome. In future, come on, put in a bit more effort. This is... This is shit. Shailen. It's shit. Shailen. This last one's okay, though. On this day, in 1739, running was invented. Yeah, dude, they so were all a bit slow back before then. Someone was in a rush in nineteen in seventeen thirty nine, and was like, "I'm just gonna move my legs a bit faster," and then sort of invented running. running. Started after, and I'm pretty sure the day before that was when the first watch was invented. Yeah, from which... Doctor Walt Run, and and he has saved so much time, mm. so much time. So you discover time, and then running happens straight after. So he's he's like, yeah, he's cut like hours and hours off getting to places just Where, because he thought oh you know what I'm gonna change walking to run Dr. Walt Run look him up if you don't believe me invented in that's, 1730 that's how the term running late was invented exactly because Walt good on him <laughs> and that's all right. that's uh, the podcast alright huh? thank you for listening uh, we'll be back tomorrow night We've come back bigger, better than ever. And this is, we got a green screen. We got a green screen. It's green. So like, that's, yeah. It's and not... now, Connor, make us that we're in a orphanage. In an orphanage. And now we're in the Egypts. And now we're in green grass. Green screen. Which is grass. <laughs> <laughs>
Green screen is just grass. Can I just cut you off for a second? No. If um if that green screen doesn't work, that'll be a bit silly. No. No. Disagree. So Connor, do not cut anything out. What Matt just said, don't cut it out. Leave that in. And also Matt Prove to him. It doesn't all that matters is that we have a green screen. We don't need to high use budget use it. Three lights. We got a green screen for mics. We got a green screen. So we don't need to like use it. All right. Uh, next we have um, question time. All right. First question is from Bryce Aussie underscore carts ninety nine. Oh man, are you okay? What is the future for Marty and Michael? Living in the Swiss Alps in a small hut with uh, opium plants growing around us and ODing on a heroin hit at the age of 61 and Michael will be 60. I'll die first from the heroin overdose and Michael won't know how to clean himself and will get an infection. <laughs> yeah, in the Alps, it's real dirty because of all the snow. It's like dirty water. It gets into the dirt. So that's our future. Get ready. Yeah, so that's how it's going to go down. All right, that was a good question. Next one is from Keys.Jones. Oh, oh, oh Keysy. <laughs> Fuck, marry, kill. Hitler, a cow, Matthew Brown from Wholesome. <laughs> oh, I know what you, you'll do. It's fucking easy. <laughs> oh, 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 I know what you're going to say. This is going to be so... I would kill Hitler. Oh, really? I would kill Hitler because that's the right thing to do. Okay, but do what you want to do. Yeah. I want to kill Hitler and I want to fuck a cow and I want to marry Matt. That's my answer. You would swap Matt and Hitler, I reckon. I don't think so. I think I think that that's... Wow, that's really rude. Yeah, rude to Matt. That's a rude thing to say. I, I don't even know Hitler. Like, he's... I'm... I'm German. I'm impressed. You're German. Of what he's done. It's impressive. He's an impressive oh. guy. He accomplished a lot. But I don't do. I don't know him. Like you so can be I impressed would, on negative things, right? Yeah, he was very good at being negative. He's very good at it. You can't deny that. Like he killed a lot of Jews. Yeah, I'd go. I'd marry Matt because he's my <laughs> dear friend. I'd kill Hitler because of what she did, and I would fuck a cow because fuck off. Apparently, they would not fuck a cow. You don't have it in you. <laughs> I reckon I could. Can't fuck a cow. So change your answer. All right, I would. Kill Matt, fuck Hitler, and marry the cow, and treat the cow well. Thank you. I would so fuck it, man. Like, if you're married to it, I'd fucking cheat on it, like, with it, man. <laughs> oh, oh next question. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'd fucking break that marriage up and that, because, like, I'd fuck it, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just joking. L-E-I-F-J-T. Are you going to start a vlog channel? No. See, I've spoken to Marty about this. We just need a full-time filmer. We need to be richer and we need to have more time. And then we will do that. So maybe in a year. Okay? Maybe yeah, in a year. Yeah, I reckon year. next year's goals will be we start a vlogging channel. Start vlogging. And I reckon like, yeah, you can just do two to three vlogs a week. You don't have to go like two I reckon nuts. nine. Nine vlogs a week. Or even 14. So one every like half day. Or nine in one day and then nothing for six weeks. Yeah. We haven't ironed out the details, but something like that. Corey Ferreria. One, two, three. What goes through your mind when you're pegged in the head with fruit? Panic. Sheer panic. And also a healthy curiosity for the outcome. Yeah, of the science, science. Because at, at heart, we are scientists. And we at, at the end of the day, we just want to know the answer to the experiments, to the hypothesis that we're putting forward. We just want to know the answer. I've never been hit by a pear, though. Yeah. I don't think you've hit, been hit ever. Like, we've never, ever been hit. Yeah. So, it's a weird question. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. Next one. Joshua Carroll, 033. How many shits have you consumed in your life, Michael? And have you ever tried anal with a cow, Marty? If you haven't, I recommend using sand as the lube. Also, you guys are the best. Um, yeah, yeah. Marty's done anal with the cows. That's that's a normal, yeah, like weekend. I don't really. How know. many shits? There's been twice dog shit and once my own. Yeah, two dog shits. I think maybe three. A few human shits. Nah, my only one of my own. 
So I'd say three shits guaranteed, possibly four. Yeah. And three Sam- as a meal, it was three completed shits consumed. Yeah. Swallowed. And that's question time. Great work, everyone. Hey, that's a really good hustle from everyone in here. I just want to say everyone is doing very well, Matt. All right, we have a brand new segment, and this segment <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna take things to the next to the next level. So we are scientists, and we love doing science. We do it every day. We do it. We do it for you. Shouldn't even when we shouldn't be doing science. We're at a funeral. We're testing the pH levels of corpses. That sort of science, you just can't fuck out of us. So we've made a segment called Science Time. And this is, right now, Science Time. And that's the intro song. And it is, right now, Science Time. And that's the intro song. And both of those two bits together are the intro song. So we have to say it twice with that pause in the middle. All right, so Michael... What do you have for us, mate? We'll get our assistant, Madman Brad, who will be on the next episode. He'll come and deliver it to us. I thank you, Madman Brad, for all you kids that are bored at home on the weekends because your parents are split. So so you, for those of you who can't see what's going on, Michael has three tubes of very thin... They're tea bags. Okay, so he's got tea bags. And but I've, I've stretched them out and, and it's like a hollow tube of a cylinder bag like a paper. cylinder is it a cylinder yep. is that what it's called yeah. tube cylinder you could we could even say like a stretched circle thank maybe. you madman brown our science assistant now oh shit, oh, man. shit. shit man. michael has a lighter now i don't i don't know so what's going on by the basically, way basically this is how have you guys ever been in a hot air balloon oh man like often often am i right this <laughs> is similar <laughs> to what a hot air balloon does so in a hot air balloon, hot air rises, correct? Yes. Okay, no, mainly a hot air that balloon. Is not, no, that no, is no. not confirmed. Yeah, we don't know that. Mostly, so We're far. not all hot air. Um, but yeah, they're like hot air balloons. So I'm going to light them from the top of the cylinder. It's a tea bag. And as the, the burn goes down the cylinder, the fire will, as it hits the bottom, somehow technology... Computers and shit makes it rise, and it's hot air mixed with tech. tech. I'd say tech. Tech. All right. Because it's 2020. All right. So Michael's about to light up a tube of tea bag paper. Yep. From, from the, the top. top with a lighter. So if you're listening on Spotify and you can't see it, I'll, li- I'll try and explain it as best I can. And I'll make noises. All right. Ready? I'm nervous. All right. Well, I think we'll both make noises to explain this. Oh, you're burning yourself. That's I, I'm okay with it. Oh, it's a very even burn. So so far, everything's now. Watch to this. Plan. Rises from the ash. Shit! There's hot fire oh, in there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my god! Inhale it. Inhale it. Oh, I blew it out. God, That's everyone. If you you should you got to look at that. It changes shit. As you, 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 the fire went up in the air and was just floating around. Very good. It's hot air balloons. Love but, this segment. Yeah. That's what? science time with Marty and Michael. All right. Our next segment has been renamed to the PO Unboxing. Haha. <laughs> Everyone thought I was going to make a crazy noise, but I didn't. And this is just where we open things that you guys have sent to us. <laughs> and we have a lot. We, we've It's been two <coughs> months off. Our PO box was chock-a-block. Oh. How many things do you think we have? I'd Bit, say 20, three, three, 20? 30, 330 or something. So Michael's thought that I asked him what the time was. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, we've had, yeah, about 20 things sent to us. All right, Look so how big this is. This is like the shit that you so get. This, this is the first thing that we've been sent. And whatever is inside, we must consume. We must consume. Yeah. We must eat it. Okay. We must that that is a rule now that we just made up. All right. <laughs> so we've opened the box and there's a little message on top that says just a little something to say thanks for the laughs. I hope you both like your stuff because you guys are the best. About the ushies, I don't even know. So whoever's done this, that's lovely. pretty sweet. This oh, does lovely. it have a name on it? Should we fucking say something about 
It's from Postal Australia. <sighs> it's from the post office. So thank you, the post office. Listen to this. Ooh. How satisfying. Matt? Very satisfying, isn't it? That's a little crack. <coughs> it's too right, big. So, so at the moment, it's just a lot of wrapping. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, we've got this. So we've got a little package on it that says open last. Okay. And remember, we have to consume everything that's in here. Because I love him. This, all right, what do we got here? Oh, it's for Bosley. Is it? Yeah, Bosley's Amazon. All right, so we have a present for Bosley and it looks like a bone. Thank you very much. I'm going to give this to him tonight. All right, here we have... I got one as well, but I couldn't get it to work. It's like There's a fart bomb. Again. There's a fart bomb in yeah, there. Yeah, we got a fart bomb. Oh. All right, pop it. All right, here we go. Hold it. Hold it in your hands. It's going to hurt my hand. I'm scared. Don't be scared. Okay. It's not going to hurt the microphone, is it? Something's... <laughs> oh, what? Is it going to go or not? <laughs> It went on my fucking face! Oh my god, it went on my eyes! <laughs> oh. It smells like that. What does that smell, that is? I regret it! I regret it! Give me a Take what your headphones off. What do you reckon oh. that is smelling? <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> we fuck the podcast up. What is that? Is that. Ruin the day! Is oh my some god. Some sort of lavender smell? Oh! Oh you my god. Get, um, yeah, plus the towel. Oh, dude, it's in my face and shit. Fuck that. Oh! I ruined my... Oh, Clean the microphone. Oh. the microphone. It smells like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like... It smells like the sewers of Thailand. Oh, God, that fart juice went all over the fucking everyone. All right, there's another fart bomb. I'm, I'm opening it. Oh, my God. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just a bit worried about so that fart bomb. So this is for you, Michael? No, nah, it's real. Someone's just sent oh! Michael's just put a fart bomb down his singlet. Okay, it's ex it's expanding. Oh, God. It's I'm completely sorry. expanded. The fart bomb is about to burst. Oh, God. I'm just going to keep looking through all this stuff. This is like Christmas. Yeah, I know. It's so beautiful. There's, There's another thing here. There's a little toy here. Oh, Teenage oh, Mutant Ninja Turtle yeah. toy. We got a deluxe asshole... Uh, cards? Oh, this one's for me. Look, there's my name. Yeah. I'll open that one up. I think the fart bombs. Has, maybe it's a dud. Must be a dud. Anyway, I'll get opening my present. And here we have more cards. So thank you very much to whoever the fuck sent these because this is lovely. Absolutely lovely. And we have some uh, peppermints. Oh, some mints. Oh. Yeah. Some Star Wars mints. Fucking hell. This is taking a while to look through. This person is. I wish they probably had a name on it. Maybe. Whoever you are who did this, thank you. This is like... This is lovely. Yeah. All right, here we have a... Uh, oh, a dick toss game. We got some beer cards. We have Pekka Toss. So it's a huge erection. Little rings you yeah. try and throw over it. I don't know what this one's... Try and just pop it on your chest. Like that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, get in there. Have a have nah, a... nah. Oh my god, dude, that's bad. That is bad. Oh, where's the one that said open this last? Oh, yeah, here it is. Hmm. Ah! Oh, fuck. What's wrong, Matt? What's wrong? What's wrong? Is it, there are people like gagging oh, and shit? What's wrong? Fuck, dude. Oh, the fart? The fart bomb? I'm... It's inside of my fucking chest, dude. I feel, I've got. I feel like immune to it. I I've like ruined it. the whole. I've ruined everything. I I've fucking, ruined my body. I fucking love it. Oh, dude, I feel sick. All right, this is a little uh, container. It says for the podcast oh. desk question mark on it. So fucking see what this is. Oh god, damn it! And we'll leave it on our desk. Don't you like oh, that, man? Holy well, shit! We have I feel figurine. so. This is a little trophy. They've sent us a trophy. So it's a world champion. It says on the little plaque, oh, and it's a big see. dick. So it's a little trophy, world champion dick. So, fucking hell. Whoever sent this, you absolute legend. We're going to put some of this on our podcast table. Oh, God. Damn. And uh, we need a bin. Like, is this, we're going to get confused with the products mixed with the... Oh, dude. Are you not feeling well or something? No! 
This is from John Giles. All right, we have been sent. Oh, Whoa. that's very lovely, isn't it? Just as we were talking about you guys not having any fucking glasses left, we have been sent a pretty, very lovely glass. Oh, I feel shit, eh? With our logo on it, the University of Markle logo on it. So thank you very much. We're going to put that right there next to a cow there. <laughs> Fuck yeah, mother. Mm, thank you very much for that. Oh, he's got a little letter in here. Let's see the letter. Yeah, I need to like get back to this podcast because I'm fully vacant right now. Hey, Marty and Michael, we've sent you some unbreakable drinkware and figured it could be a good test for the durability. This is unbreakable. Wow. Ooh. These are guaranteed not to break or crack. Also, the prints look awesome, so we hope you like them. We are big fans of your videos, so enjoy. If you can break these in one of your videos... We'll print your batch of merch for free. If you're interested in purchasing some of these in any blah, 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 get drinkware for your merch site, get into contact with us. That's <coughs> actually a fucking good idea. That's a fucking good idea. Mm. All right? We're going to put these on the fucking website, man, on the merch store. Yeah, They're actually yeah, quite yeah. cheap, and you can sell them for a lot of profit. Yes. Fucking legend. That's we will beautiful. I'm going to put this in my pocket. I'll be talking to you later, bro. <laughs> All right, and that's and we got many and for the people that sent stuff in that were like, oh, why haven't you opened my stuff? My stuff yet? It will be opened in future podcasts. We've just got so and much. We just we got through. a lot, and you know we're trying to keep the podcast down a, a few minutes, like forty minutes, oh. and it takes a long time. Uh, it's hit, do you know what? I, do you know what I mean? All right. The final segment has been renamed to Meam Punti Aishom Punti. Yep. Me and two. Mm. <laughs> and it's basically just a segment where we do a prank call. So prank calls are a bit different. This time we get, well, I'm getting people from our website to uh, submit mm. backstories and numbers. And uh, this person has said that um, her, their friend is like fully into conspiracy theories from America. And so I'm going to call and pretend to be from uh, a... Um, Staff member from Area Fifty One. Say you're from. Um, you can say you're from uh, FBI, but you work in Pine Gap in Australia, and they do all the surveillance stuff. Okay. Might work. <laughs> Don't wait. Oh, it's my <laughs> urine everywhere. You just <laughs> fucked it. You fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, good mate. It's um. Greg Polsky here from ASIO from Australia. I was just wondering if um, you're uh, available. you're available for a quick talk just about some um, suspicious behaviour that we've uh, uncovered from your residence. I'm sorry, what? I'm from ASIO from Australia. Uh, basically, we're a um, sort of a secret service, I guess, and we um, sort of... Uh, look into the abnormal and uh, we've recently discovered that some of the behavior from your residence has been slightly unusual and we've matched that with your online search history and we just have a few questions if you wouldn't mind uh, yeah. Yeah, what do you want to know? so what are your beliefs exactly on um uh, unidentified flying objects. Um, I don't. I don't really care much for them. Um, my wife. My wife is a um, pretty big believer in them. Right. So, would you mind putting your wife on, please? Uh, yeah. Give me one second. Because she's because she's nailing it on the head. You'd be like, how did you know? How did you find out? Hello. Hello. Uh, sorry to be calling. So, sorry to be calling at such a time. Can I just confirm what what your name? What, what is your name? Lauren, right? Okay, so we're calling the right resident. So, Lauren, we're, we've we've you've you've sprung up in the system because some of the things that you've been researching, your online history matched with. Um, What's been? Look, I'm not going to divulge exactly how we, how we have this sort of information, but basically, I'm from Asia, Australia, and we are investigating uh, suspicious claims uh, from anywhere from overseas made about. Uh, Things like extraterrestrial beings and UFOs. So, so Lauren, uh, I'm basically calling you to ask how, how, how do you know? What, what, what exactly have you done to find out the things that you have found out? I haven't really done anything 
to find out what I found out. Okay, um, all right, Lauren. Well, let's let's put it like this. What, what what are your what are your beliefs exactly when it comes to uh, UFOs and stuff like that? Let's start oh there, God. shall we? Um. Well, um, I think that there are aliens. Right, and, and why? What what is your what is your proof? It basically is what I need to uncover. What is your proof? What is your evidence? Have you uh, have you made contact with anyone? What, what, what? Why exactly do you are you so certain that there are extraterrestrial beings living amongst us? Um, I think that there's proof because, um, well, you know, um, there's radiation that's been left where they've uh, sat. How do you know how 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 do you know about the radiation that's been left over from visitors? Oh, because it's like the you know shit on TV. Right. So you're just relying on media, but you haven't personally had any interactions with extra extraterrestrial beings. I actually went outside once, and um, there was like it looked like a star, and it was kind of moving around a little bit. But I've never had anything like that. Right, but you didn't film it or anything. It was just something that you randomly saw, like you know, a star. Let's just just say yes. it was a star. Right. Okay. So, you know, it takes a bit of information. There are a lot of sort of curses that we use to to contact this. You know, people like yourself who have a in in depth right. knowledge of. You know, strange things. It's hard for me to talk about. There's not much I can divulge, but I'm just wondering, who have you told and what exactly do you know? Would you be interested in connecting with them? Um, just my, fam my family and my friends. And so there have been personal experiences, but there have been personal experiences yourself where you have come into contact with extraterrestrial beings? Uh, not me, not me. Say the word. Well, we want to employ you. Look, we're 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 basically getting a team together, and uh, we're getting some. We are collecting people who have really in-depth, deep knowledge about uh, this sort of stuff. And you have have come up in the system. Uh, I know you're all the way in America, but um, our budget can allow us to fly you over to Australia. And look, look, it would be a week of your time maximum and all we basically want to do is run some tests sit you down just have a few interviews and you will be surrounded by peop other people from all around the world not just america not just australia everywhere what? who basically have seen things and just know this no have a have a very deep understanding of uh of extraterrestrial and, and 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 things like UFOs and stuff like that. So w would that be something that Amen. you are interested in? We will cover the travel expenses. Oh my god, yes. Okay, well, <clears throat> there's a flight leaving to uh, Brisbane uh, on on uh, Tuesday morning. Would you be? Oh my god. Would you be if we if if I collect your information and send you your plane ticket via email? Would you be interested in coming to Australia and um, basically just divulging the information that you have about your experiences with UFOs and extraterrestrial people? And by the way, it, once you send that email, I'll have to send back an, a confidentiality agreement. You cannot talk about this to anyone. Uh, no, absolutely not. Is this something you would be interested in doing? So leaving this Tuesday, this, and uh, you would be gone for roughly seven days, and then we'll fly you back the following Tuesday. That would be awesome. All right. Well, I've got a pen in front of me. What is your email? I'm just I'm just going to write down your email, and we'll send you the the flight details and and the rest of the information as soon as you get the email. I'm not going to mention anything about this via writing. The only time we, you will ever hear me talk about anything related to UFOs is over the phone. So I need you to tell me okay. 
that you will not disclose this sort of information to anyone else okay uh, this okay. isn't this isn't this isn't just something that you can get excited about and tell your best friend. This is, look, I, I can't talk about it too much, but this, it's big. It's, it's big. big. It, it's okay. disclosure is about to happen. It's 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 a big, something big is happening. So what's I, your, I know. so all right so so yes, and and that's exactly why we've called because we are aware that you know of the event that is on the horizon. Okay, I'm about to send you your flight itinerary. Again, read it. Do not show it to anyone. Delete. We have we have uh, checks and balances in place that will let us know if you tell anyone about this and you will be completely removed from this project. I'm just letting you know, okay? Please do not mention a thing okay. to anyone. You will receive your email in 10 minutes. Thank All you, right. Lauren. Okay. Right. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to meeting with you. What's your name again? Greg Ballon. Amazing. And I'm an, mm -hmm. okay. an ASIO agent. Good okay. Goodbye. Bye. See ya. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? All right, thank you so much for that. And don't forget, send in your prank calls, preferably Australians. So you give us the number, the and backstory, backstory to our exactly, Instagram. If you give us a backstory with their number, their name, and the information, then we can work with that just like we did then. And that's a good opening fucking prank call this is to our first episode two, of season two. Episode one. one. Get fucked. The Empire Strikes Back. We're pretty good. We're pretty good. We're, we're pretty, pretty good. good. We'll we're get better. Good. We'll we're get better. Good. And we will we're, eventually, we're be eventually be we're the best. Improving. Eventually be the best. We'll eventually be the best again.